morning guys, welcome to Floor Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Tuesday the 10th of January 2016 and just been editing, done loads of editing. I've been editing up all the work we did yesterday in the spray booth. I'm happy to report the sound system works absolutely fantastic. Thank you, the god of Rode microphones. The great thing about that microphone is, is that it just does what you want without having to do too much fiddling. Put it this way, over the years I've had probably 10 pretty expensive microphones, but the Rode one, if you want quality audio, you've really got to invest in it. And that microphone was 250 quid. And at the time, I have to say, it's like, Christ, 250 quid for a microphone, just want to hear some people talk, you know? But it's one of those things where spent once, spent good, because that one filters out all the noises and all the bits and pieces. The camera does a lot of it as well between both of them. But I've had to do nothing in the actual editing point. So I've had to do nothing post-production to the audio where, to be honest, uh, before I used to tweak it. But running both isn't too bad. And uh, one of the members, sorry, can't remember who you were, pointed out to me, he's worked it all out, it's 68 decibels, uh, which isn't too bad at all. But the microphone has said, it isolates your voice and it cuts out all the rubbish and everything else just off the bat without me touching it. But yesterday, as you know, was a really, really good day. So from that point of view, we can show you where we've got to. And you guys are wondering, Yes, we did. We sprayed, did everything. And to be honest, I even started deckling it until around about six o'clock last night uh, when I stopped. But this is how we've got on. So you see, we've got the markings on the tail. I'm gonna have to go around and hand paint in the yellow around the back here and everything else. But generally, I do have to say the paintwork has gone on really nicely uh, and that is the thing. I've got a little tiny bit of silvering just down in here I need to take care of. Um, again, it's quite a complex curve. I don't know how well you can see it down there. Uh, but I think by the time we get in here, we give this a rub over uh, and we weather it and all the bits and pieces like that. We're going to have a very, very nice looking meteor. But I've even done the engines. I've painted up the engines. We've done those. We're going to have one in and open, one next to it. The gear's all done and painted. I've still got to paint the wheels and everything else. But I'm going to spend probably the next sort of, I don't know, um, probably hour deckling this guy uh, and everything else like that and I'm thinking I might even be able to get the weathering wash on it today as well if I can we'll be really pushing along very very nicely because then what we'll do we'll sand the weathering wash on here so we can see this gorgeous riveting which I'm really happy you can it in the light you can see it now on the wings and everything else you couldn't really see it before um, but it, it has popped really really nicely if I can get it to lock in there we go you can see it so I'm very happy that we did do it we took our time putting up the raised banding and the various bits and pieces down on here and everything else like that. So that has worked exceptionally well. So plan of action for me today is get this thing pretty much finished, maybe just a little bit tomorrow, but that'll be pushing along really nicely because just before we start on that lump over there on the A10, I do actually want to have a go at that Meng Mustang, which is this guy here which technically I know we were playing with metalizers yesterday uh, and everything else, but I do want just to put this together. So what I'm thinking is quick paint job down in the cockpit, a little bit of hand painting, the rest of it can all be done post. So I can put it all together to see if said, if it's looking great, no problems at all, then obviously we'll just push straight through with the paint phase on it. If it's looking a little bit ropey and gonna need a bit of work, we'll hold off. But it'd just be nice to see exactly how well this thing does go together without any glue. I know there's a couple of guys are doing it in the forum, and have pointed out to me that it's a fantastic kit, goes together really, really well, but they would recommend using glue. But because this is really for the kids and trying to get them into the hobby, could you build a kit without any glue or filler and have it to a very good standard? And that's what we're trying to sort of figure out with that one. Uh, to be honest, I've got a couple of deliveries coming in today. Um, I've got, hopefully the engines will be here, fingers crossed, for the uh, Mosquito. I've also got some other bits and pieces coming in for the Night Fighter. We'll have a look at those as soon as they arrive uh, and all the bits and pieces like that. But for the next hour or so, I must admit, we're going to put some tunes on uh, and we're going to actually get this thing deckled, sealed, and then we can leave it off to one side and then hopefully, as you say, we'll be able to get the actual weathering wash onto this one and sand it back by the end of the day.
morning, been pushing on with the Meteor. So, <clears throat> we have been busy deckling. Deckling must be the most boring job out, isn't it? It's okay when they're going well, but when they're a bit of a problem. Um, hopefully you can see there what we tried to do with that post shading. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, in there, literally, as you can see, we put the little ribbons on, gives a slightly different texture, a little bit of difference uh, in the tonal and the variations, as you see down there. Then on this side, we flip them over. We can see we've got the markings all on there. Hopefully give it another sort of, I don't know, hour. I thought it was an hour job. <laughs> Clearly it is not. Right, I have got, as you guys like, a little bit of an unboxing. Let's move that out of the way. Exactly what we got going on down in here. So. Yes, we have a box. It has arrived. Now, I'm hoping this will have in it certain items we've been waiting for. So, in fact, this particular item I've been waiting for, which is obviously the engines for the Mosquito, which hopefully will be in here. So, we have opened the box upside down. Always the way. Right, so, some interesting stuff. Well, hopefully you'll find interesting. This is going to be my future armor build that we're going to be doing. Obviously, this is the one with the full interior as well for the King Tiger. I've gone for the Porsche turret, obviously the Takam 2, the couple of different versions. This is the one uh, for that. Whoops. She's falling off. Sorry, causing chaos. Okay, so that is having one. Other bits in there. I'll tell you what, we'll do that because you guys can see it. I must admit, when this thing was announced, I really couldn't resist it. This is Eddard's Repop. We know it's the Hasegawa 130 second um, uh, P47 in here, but this has got the nice markings and the bits and pieces. And as I say, it comes with all the, the niceties in there as well. Okay, so we should have. Uh, a nice picture in there for that look in the box. Normally I don't, but there is this. This time actually they've rolled it up and put it in there, but there's the poster, but slightly different down in here. And I'm hoping down here at the back, as you can see, we have got these beautiful markings. Um, so as you say, you've got some very nice options down on there. And yes, oh, can't wait. Must admit, this is one of those I thought, oh, I've got to have that. Because as I say, I have been working on some 130 second stuff recently, as you all know. Now, okay, that's just all packaging. Then we have a box which will have, or I'm hoping will have, let's just pop this down in here so you can see it a bit better. All right, make sure I don't put something on decals and wreck something. So in here, we should have some nice interesting little bits and pieces or i'm hoping we will okay so here we go so that is what we have been after so down here as you see we have the engines for the mosquitoes which absolutely look gorgeous absolutely fan they've done a fantastic little video that if you want to see this one where it shows it all going together but that is what we're after these are not cheap by a long stretch of the imagination but they are as you can see pretty stocked in here you've actually got to build the engine but also you do get this is the bit i was interested in extremely thin injected molded uh, cows and things like that on here as well so as you can see I think it's money well worth uh, spending the time on and the money on it because it's going to be such a detailed area of the actual model but as I said what we're going to do is uh, a little bit closer to the time we do a full review of the kit along with all the aftermarket stuff I'm going to use uh, and bits and pieces in there like that all right so that is in so you see just by the size of the the paperwork that go with it there's tons it's very very worth it okay we've got a set of wheels did i buy the wheels for it already i think i did already so it looks like we've got two sets of wheels for it got a bit confused down there uh we've got the gun barrel set so these are beautiful turned brass 
ones down in there, um, done in by uh, Master Ones. Beautiful. I think, you know, really the far worth the upgrade against the sort of resin ones that we might get in the kit. We've also got down there uh, for the ME262, this is some of the upgraded parts for that one. So we've got a little bit of the photo etch stuff looking absolutely gorgeous for that. We've also got here for the ME262, we've got the steel seat, uh, seat belts. I haven't used these yet, so I thought I'd give them a whirl. Okay, so that looks quite nice. We've also got for the ME262, a color photo etch cockpit set for it which again really nice little touch as well because of the harnesses we're not sure which way we're going to be doing it and all the rest of it i have managed to get hold of some um, fabric ones as well which i think will be lovely in 132nd scale for the mosquito so we've got that one and just to finish this off for today i've got a nice reference book which obviously we'll have a look uh, with a review at and everything else like that for the me262 uh, and obviously this has got a lot of the stuff for the two-seater as well because we need some references on it because to be honest we don't have many at all look at that, that there you go there's an option wow very nice indeed okay so yeah going very well today it is one of those things it's a, a, a slow day shall we say uh, in the great scheme of things purely because Deckling, you know what it's like. It's one of those things you just can't hurry it. You can't really rush it along or anything else like that. But generally, uh, we're getting there. I think by the end of today, I have this fully deckled. As I said, up with you guys now is part five. Talks about uh, re-riveting this completely, going through the motions of it right the way from start to finish. And then obviously we talk about doing the primer coat and the grey coat of paint goes onto this one. Then uh, in part six, which will be up with you, I'm probably thinking of doing that on. Thursday uh, that will be up there and that one's going to cover obviously uh, going through the complete camo work and probably get you right up to here and then probably part seven which will be up with you on Monday uh, if not end of the week that's going to cover obviously doing the weathering with this one we're going to do a little bit of fading work we're going to put some streaking onto it a little bit of post shading to this guy yeah but I want to get all the decals on and then drawn down and in position before obviously we move on with proper weathering uh, because we need to weather in the decals because they're quite large on this one and we want it all to be done roughly at the same stage but we are definitely getting there we're making good progress with this guy and everything else so you guys can go off now uh, watch part five, uh, part five of this one especially if you want to know about re-riveting uh, re I do it all completely freehand purely because I'm lazy and everything else like that so that's it from me catch you all tomorrow